Our next speaker is Abderrahim El Khafidi, the, the, the Director General of ONI, the National Office of Electricity and Drinking Water in Morocco. Abderrahim has almost 35 years of experience in the fields of water and energy and was honored by His Majesty King Muhammad VI with the National Royal Order of Merit to the rank of officer in reward of services and works regarding the development and implementation of the new Moroccan energy strategy for 2030. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Abdurrahim El Khafidi. Shalom for uh, all my friends from Israel. Sabah al khair, wassalamu alaikum. Good morning for our, all my friends. So, first, it's really, really a great pleasure for me and a privilege to take the floor at this very important event, specifically in the session that is uh, dressing really a very important topic for the Kingdom of Morocco, for Israel, but for many, many others countries in the world. I thank uh, the organizer for inviting me, for inviting me and for granting me this opportunity to share with the distinguished audience the recent development in Morocco in terms of water situation, but also uh, energy and electrical situation in Morocco. It's also an opportunity to share with you what are the lessons to be learned when we analyze all the crises. I think Morocco and the world is experiencing this year very critical situation in energy, but also in, war, in, in, in water. I just want to, to remind us but it happened in, seven, in 1973, when we have the first oil shock, and the second oil shock in 1979. And also in 2009, I think we are in the similar situation in 2022. But we have to learn lessons, what we can conclude. But before this crisis, this energy crisis and this water situation, I think we have, we, we experience, all, all the world experienced very, very uh, critical situation during, uh, during COVID pandemic. And they think now we have to, to think in deep what's, what we have to do. Sure, it's depend. When we see the different model, energy model, our world model, I think in Morocco it's, it's really it's not the same uh, situation in other countries. But the base element that we have to take in consideration, uh, the lesson that we have to learn, that I think that we have to reduce our dependence in terms of energy and in terms also of impact of climate change regarding the water. When we see what it happened now in Morocco in terms of severe droughts, I think we are experiencing here in Morocco in 2022, one of the severe droughts uh, never seen before, 30 years before. It's very, very, very interesting to, to analyze when we analyze the situation of the capacity available now in terms of dams, we have more, we achieved more than 149 dams. 
Morocco was one of the first countries in Africa and the Arabic world to launch a very important and ambitious program to develop dams. The capacity of storage in the dams available now in Morocco is more than 20 billion cubic meters. When we add 5 billion cubic meters in the water underground, it means that we have very huge capacity of storage in dams. 25 billion cubic meters. But we have to ask, what is, the, what is exactly the problem? The problem that we have not visibility regarding the impact of the climate change on our water resources. It means that we have to reduce this dependence. What can we do that? I think there are many solutions. One, one of the best solutions that we are developing here in Morocco is to introduce more and more innovative technology regarding desalination. It's very important. I think Morocco was also one of the first countries in Africa to launch and to develop a desalination. The first one, it was in Bojdor uh, in 1977. The first desalination plant developed by ONI, it was in 1977. But the cost to produce cubic meter in that, de in, 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 in that date it was five dollars per cubic meters. It's really, really very high. When we compare with this situation now, today, but we have to underline one point, it's very important. When we analyze the total cost to produce cubic meters, more than 45% is from energy is from electricity. It, mean, it means that we have to reduce the cost of energy. I think today in Morocco, when we analyze our, uh, our electrical model and our energy model, I think uh, the energy crisis in 2009 was a very, very specific uh, years for Morocco because in 2009, we launched a new energy strategy based on the renewable energy available in Morocco. Through this new strategy, Morocco now is able to produce the best and the, the, the high competitive kilowatt hour in the world. We are able now to produce from the wind farm with 2.5 cents of dollar per kilowatt hour. And our ambitions by 2030 is to reduce this cost to 2 cents, dollar, cents of dollar per kilowatt hour. It's really very, very uh, big change in our electrical model. This advantage, this ingredient is very important for us to accelerate our, the, the development of the salination plant. When we compare the price and the cost into, uh, in 1977 and the last desalination plant uh, in Lyon, the last one with very important capacity, 25,000 cubic meters per day, the cost is no more than six cents of dollar, six dirham per kilowatt hour, when we compare with 50 uh, dirham per kilowatt hour. Why? Because we can now produce, we can now reduce the cost of the kilowatt hour used uh, in the desalination process. This is very important. The second thing, I think, I think that uh, Desalination using the inverse osmos is now very mature technology. But 
when we consider the last uh, five years, I think American technology uh, introduced a lot in the process of uh, inverse osmos by reducing more the cost to produce uh, energy by uh, using the pressure in the process and to reduce the cost and the charge of energy to produce the cubic meters. In fin, I say that to develop desalination for Morocco is one of the best way to reduce our dependence on the water dams and underground dams. This is really uh, very important for the future. In terms of realization in, uh, in desalination plant, Morocco right now achieved nine desalination plants in different areas in Morocco. And we plant by 2035, 12 desalination plants. It's really very important and opportunities for all the enterprise, especially the Israeli enterprise, where we will uh, very happy to see the Israeli enterprise participate to our international tenders. I think as, I think as you know, uh, we are launching one of the best and the biggest uh, desalination plants in Casablanca with a very high capacity. The first phase, it will be 600,000 cubic meters per day. And we plan to extend this capacity to 800,000 cubic, cubic meters per day. Our ambition is to produce uh, uh, to develop another capacity from the salination plant with more than 1 million point three uh, hundred thousand cubic meter per day by 2035. This program is uh, under development now and uh, the investment that we need to develop this program is more than nine billion dollars. It's really a big opportunity for the enterprise. All the projects, all of this uh, projects will be developed by the private company in the framework of a uh, private public partnership. It means that really is big opportunities for enterprises here with us and for all the private company in Israel and in the world. Regarding what it happened now in uh, energy also. The crisis, 2022 crisis, it's very rich uh, of lessons that we have to learn. When Morocco decide to review uh, the energy strategy in 2009, the objective that we have to, to reach, it was how to reduce our dependency of the importation of the fossil fuels because we have a huge potential of renewables, local energy that we have to develop. Uh, as I said now, uh, Morocco, the model, energy model of, uh, uh, in Morocco is uh, dominated by uh, fossil fuel. But our ambition by 2030 is to have 64% of the total power installed in Morocco from renewables. And the total electrical Energy, electrical energy consumed by 2030 will be 52%. Energy consumed, it's not the power installed. It's very ambitious. But I think that all, all the ingredients are now available here in Morocco. And we have 
the capacity to reach this objective. When I underline this, uh, these elements and this new model of energy strategy, because it, is, is, it can generate more and more opportunities for investments. But the new element that we have now developing in our energy model is to introduce new elements. As my friend Amin said, this new element is the green hydrogen. I think my friend Said Unin and Mr. Zarwawi will, will have the time to, to go in deep regarding these elements. Why Morocco can play a very important role in the hydrogen? Because when we analyze also the, all the cost structure to produce hydrogen, I think the share of the electricity to produce hydrogen is very high. It's uh, between 55 and 60 percent. And when we understand that Morocco is able to produce one of the competitive uh, kilowatt hour in the world, 2.5 cents of dollar now, and 2 cents of dollar by 2030, it means that we, we can play a very interesting role in the hydrogen. We, are, uh, we have also very interesting uh, information that we are in contact with uh, big companies in the world and uh, big companies in, in, uh, in the gas turbine. And we tested now that we can use the hydrogen to produce electricity in the, in the gas turbine. And this is a very important element that we have taken in consideration for in our new energy model. This is very, very important. We can use it 100%, but we can we mix it also with natural gas. This opportunity, this element, this possibility uh, reduce, uh, I finished. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Will give us also the opportunity to reduce our dependency. Thank you very much for your attention.